there are numerous adjustments available to help riders customize the snowmobile to their profile and preferences. This video will cover the various terms and suspension adjustments available on Polaris snowmobiles. There are a couple common terms familiar to all riders. Clicker refers to the adjustment knob on the shock reservoirs. This adjustment affects the dampening of the shocks and can be available on the front shocks, front track shock, and the rear track shock. These shocks all work cohesively to absorb the weight of the snowmobile and the impact of obstacles to the rider's preference. Some models will feature a high and low speed adjustment. The high speed clicker will change how the shock absorbs frequent, large impacts such as rolling whoops on a trail. Low speed adjustments change how the shocks react to more gradual and less frequent impacts, such as a sudden change from downhill to uphill riding. Beyond that, there is the preload adjustment at the base of the shock springs. Changes in preload affect the distribution of weight between the front and rear of the snowmobile. Turning the preload adjuster clockwise will increase preload, and turning counterclockwise will decrease preload. Beyond that, we land at the tie rod, which affects ski alignment. Improper ski alignment may cause a loss of steering control. Always ensure the toe settings are set to the factory specifications listed in your owner's manual. On the skis, you'll find the ski spacers. Some models may have fixed spacers, while others may allow you to set up a wide or narrow stance by shifting them between the inside of the spindle to the outside. Onto the rear suspension, we'll start with the limiter strap adjustment. The purpose of the limiter strap is to limit how far the center shock can extend, which in turn affects the weight transfer of the snowmobile. Polaris recommends leaving the limiter strap at its factory settings to maintain the optimum ride characteristics. However, those who desire more weight transfer to the rear of the snowmobile can lengthen the limiter strap by changing to the longer position. The torsion spring adjustment is located on the rear suspension and is adjusted by using the included spark plug wrench. This will directly affect the weight transfer of your snowmobile and can also affect steering feel. Last but not least, there is the handlebar settings. These are imperative to the comfort level on and off the trails. Loosen the fasteners in the center of the handlebars and pivot to adjust the handlebar angle. Make sure you perform this adjustment while on the sled to give you a feel for what feels right. With a clear understanding of all the available suspension adjustments, we can now start to address some common conditions on the trails. Continue watching our videos on handling and cornering to start addressing concerns you may have.